Good morning, or good afternoon, I should say. This is Sihamak Salari from Belgium. And I have decided, instead of writing an article today, I'm going to tell you a story and send it through on, on this um, web blogging video file. Hopefully, if you, uh, if you like it, I can think up more stories and send them to you. Um, so, uh, first of all, apologies about my appearance. I have a shower every day. Today, I haven't had a shower yet. I have to because my friends are coming, so don't worry. I will have a shower, okay? Um, what's today's story about? It's all about The Sopranos. Now, everybody knows The Sopranos, right? The series on television, HBO, very successful, Mafia series, Mafia family series, fantastic uh, scripts, uh, acting, storylines, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, something I'm totally glued to, I have been for the last five or six years. Um, but unfortunately, since we uh, moved to Belgium, I haven't been able to watch uh, season six, I haven't seen anything of season six. Just before I launch into this story, let me tell you the, the extent to which The Sopranos affects me. Um, it really does take over my entire kind of reality. Uh, I'd been watching one particular... It's a bit like watching the twins, like watching the kids, you know. They watch a uh, cartoon of some karate kids or something, Ninja Turtles or whatever it might be, and they spend the rest of the afternoon trying to karate chop each other. Now, I'm an adult, and I do a similar sort of parallel thing to that, which is watch The Sopranos and then become one for the next two or three days. Um, my sister phoned me up one day to say, after I'd been watching a, an episode, to say, Siamak, uh, Said and Tofe have invited us... Uh, oops, I shouldn't have mentioned their name in case they watched it. Anyway, some friends have invited... Oh, shit, do you know the name now? Said and Tofe have invited us to dinner on Saturday, and you've been invited to, do you want to come? And I was in Sopranos mode, I, I answered, tell them to go and fuck themselves. And she went, what? I said, no, no, nothing, I, was, uh, I was thought it was someone else joking. She said, well, don't you like them? I said, I love them, you know I really like them. I said, why do you say that for them? Anyway, she just didn't get it, she doesn't watch The Sopranos, I tried to explain The Sopranos, she just didn't get it. So, the good news is, a few weeks ago, I found a way of downloading the whole of episode, uh, season, sorry, the whole of season six, all 12 episodes, onto my laptop. This very laptop I'm actually uh, talking to right now. And it was great. I was in heaven. I watched two or three episodes a night. Verinda's addicted to them as well, my wife. She was watching them too. Uh... And we, uh, this, this, is, this story is set over New Year, by the way. So on New Year's Eve, I went to buy some logs. We have a, we have a fireplace here. And just there, just, can you see it? Uh, no, that side, behind me. That's our fireplace, where I'm wiggling my finger. And it's a great little fireplace. It really does warm up the room, even when we don't need to warm it up because we've got central heating. But I needed some logs. Normally, I buy four bags, big, heavy bags of logs from our local petrol station. And I go and pay for them first, then I pick them up outside to throw them into the boot of the car. On this occasion, I bought three logs. Went outside and I put one in, then another one, then a third one, and then I paused before picking up a fourth one, which I hadn't paid for, putting it into my car. <coughs> As we drove off, Farinda looked at me and said, What's the matter with you? I said, nothing. She said, you look clammy. I said, Verinda, you won't believe what I've just done. I stole a bag of logs. She went, what? You stole a bag of logs? I said, yeah. Just now, in the back, an extra bag of logs I didn't pay for. She said, you idiot. They could have filmed, they filmed it on the video cameras. They would have caught you doing it. It is the local petrol station. I know that guy in there. He's a really nice bloke. I said, I know. 
but I don't know why I did it. Of course, I knew why I'd done it. I was a Sopranos character, and I wanted my cut. I know it sounds bizarre and stupid, but indulge me. Um, I felt really bad instantly afterwards. But the point was, I'd already taken the logs. So I went back the next day to pay him back. I really did. It was shut because it was New Year's Day. Had to wait three days. Um, by the time I went back and explained it to him, you know, uh, trois bois et blah, 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 blah. And uh, I take four bois. He, he understood, and I paid him the money, and he was very grateful, very nice about it. Obviously, hadn't clicked that I'd intentionally nicked them. Um, and then, a uh, few weeks later, this is just the other week, which is what's prompted me to make this uh, weblog, <coughs> video blog. I went in there to buy some, uh, another three logs, or four logs this time. And he said something to me in French. I don't really understand French too well. I can speak it better than I can understand it, basically. So I'm one of those people who says something uh, long in uh, French, and as soon as a person answers me, I go, huh? Huh? Anyway, this is exactly what happened. He kept saying something, and I was going, uh, excusez-moi, uh, je, je n'ai pas compris, comprenez. And he said, forget about it. I mean, he didn't say that in English. He kind of made the gesture, forget about it. So when I went to pick up the logs, I realized there was only f three bags in there when I paid, already paid for four bags. And what he must have been asking me is, do we have four bags of uh, logs? So I put the logs in the car, went back in and said, yes, uh, you know, I retourne demain, tomorrow, et prenez un autre uh, bois. He said, bon, oui, oui. Anyway, I forgot. Days have gone by, and I've forgotten. And now, I'm paranoid if I go in there, he'll, he won't even remember me, and he'll say, what logs? What log? So, now, he owes me a log, a bag of logs. What comes round really does go around. Let this be a lesson to all of us. What comes round goes around. I'm owed a bag of logs by the very guy I stole a bag of logs from. And me... Steal it. I mean, the thought that I'd taken something. The grandson of uh, Dr. Ahmed and Dr. Rezai Salari of Mashhad stealing a bag of logs in Belgium. Oh, my God. Anyway, um, I'll try not to think about it too much, and I will uh, try and do another piece if you enjoy this one soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye.